What is going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video of mine. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really cool masking kind of transition slash disappearing glitch effect i don't know but uh whatever the title is that's what it's gonna be but yeah so this effect requires no plugins no special software none of that it's just uh everything is built in into final cut pro using the uh built-in effects and stuff like that so that's gonna be kind of nice it's very easy to do just follow along and uh, before i do begin with the video if you guys can leave a like that will just absolutely help me it just helps support the channel and keep me uh, motivated to make more videos so subscribe so you don't miss out on a video like this one and comment down below if you guys want to see more music video effects or if you just want to see more type of transition tutorials so comment down either transitions or effects so without further ado let's jump right into the video all right so what you want to do first is you're going to have your first video here and then you're going to have your second video right over here so this is going to be the first clip the one on the left is going to be the uh, clip that you want to transition into the next clip, which is this one. What you want to do first is drag the playhead to the very end of that first clip. Go one frame to the left where you have your subject here. In this case, we have young boy here. And if you want to watch the original music video, link will be down in the description of this video. You want to go to the top and go to edit and go to add freeze frame to add a uh, a still image pretty much. It just takes like a screenshot if, in, in other words. So hold shift Z to fit everything in the timeline. I'm gonna make this shorter here and I'm gonna drag the right clip here. I'm gonna drag that one right below it. If I zoom in, we also want a little bit of room on the left clip here. So we don't want it to be like this, but more like over here. So maybe five frames to the left. Now, once you're at this point, we're gonna select the top clip here, which is just a still, it's just an image really. We're gonna drag the end here and we're going to make this kind of disappear towards the end so once you're at this point we're going to add effects to this first clip now uh, what we want to do is we want to add a draw mask so go to the effects go to the masks option and then go to draw mask and drag it on your clip now once you're at this point what you want to do is you want to go and start at the very beginning and make a very precise selection of your subject so i'm going to go into 200 percent and i'm going to move this little red uh, square over here where you can move the uh, viewfinder so I'm gonna start with his shoes and kind of uh, I'm gonna go around like this and I'm just making a very nice selection here you want to be very precise with this so if you have to zoom in even more to uh, get a very good uh, selection then please do so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up for sake of time all right so I'm almost finished here and as you may already know or don't know uh, the more points you add the slower the uh, performance gets so that's just completely normal so uh, once you're done here you're gonna have a little circle next to the pen tool click that and that will finish off the mask as you can see so go back to fit so you can see what you've done and if we select the clip this is a before and after again this is just a freeze frame it's just like a screenshot or an image now this is what we're gonna add our effects to so what we're gonna do now is we want to add that kind of tint back uh, like a tint effect to the background and not affect the actual subject so to do that we're going to go a couple of frames maybe here and press b for the blade tool so this is about maybe five frames and so that'll be just right so once you're at this point what you want to do is uh, select this clip hold option to make a copy and just drag that upwards so select the bottom clip and delete draw mask because we don't need it for that clip so press delete and now on that same clip it's still selected we're gonna go into the effects and we're gonna go into color and we're gonna go down to tint so drag that onto that bottom clip there and this should still be the uh, freeze frame okay as you can see so this is just the, the uh, selection so now once you've done that we're gonna select the uh, this clip here where we added the tint right and we're gonna select uh, this little color with the box and we're gonna change the color to like a yellowish orange now once you're at this point what we're gonna do is um, we're going to now make a another copy so hold option and drag upwards to make another copy so this should still be the same one with the same mask applied now once you're at this point what you want to do is select the middle clip here and you want to go into the color properties over here and we're gonna go into the exposure tab and we're gonna increase this all the way up and we're gonna go into the saturation and bring that all the way up as well 
And we're going to go into the color tab and we're going to change the master color to a different color. So this can be whatever color you want. I'm going to go like a cyanish green. And once you're there, what we're going to do is we're going to go into blur in the effects. So go to blur and we're going to add a focus blur. So drag that onto this one. So now this will make it glow. All right. Pretty cool. Now, uh, once you're at this point, we're going to add a prism effect as well. So go to blur and we're going to add a prism. So drag that there. So now it looks really cool. looks really disco-y, but uh, um, we're going to go down to prism here in the effects tab and we're going to decrease that we don't need that much so we're going to go about to five and once you are there uh, we're going to select this one here which should be the top mask without any effects it's just the actual draw mask of our subject so once we're there what we're going to do is we're going to add a kind of like an underwater effect so go to distortion and we're going to go down to the uh, underwater effect so drag that onto that top clip and once we're there we're going to decrease the size of this to maybe or actually increase it a little bit and decrease the size. It really depends. Like if, if you have a very, like very short clip, you might want to make it go a little bit faster. So we're going to change the speed of this. I don't know, like uh, if I select it, we'll increase that. So if we do something like this, it'll just wobble a little bit. Sweet. So once you're done with that, we we're done with the effects. You can also add like a, add a bad TV and it'll look like this. So I'm going to do something like that and I'm going to change the static type to pink noise. Now, once you're done with that, we're going to go to the middle clip and we're going to go to the edge and just drag that all the way to the very end to this clip here and do the same thing for this one as well. Um, before you do that though, move the playhead here and then drag the clip to the end and do the same thing for the top clip. Now, don't move the playhead, but what you want to do from here is use the blade tool. So press B on the keyboard and just make those cuts in between on all three cl uh, clips. So select the top clip, hold shift and select the bottom clip. And uh, we're going to press command B. Just make sure that it's at the uh, playhead here and then press command B. There you go. It's going to cut it to the nearest frame. If you're really close, uh, like zoomed in. And what you're going to do from this point is now we have these three clips selected. We're going to highlight both um, all three. We're going to right click and go to new compounds clip. And now what we're going to do is we're going to give it a name. So I'm just going to name this effect final, press enter. So now it acts as one clip with all the effects applied in all three clips. So it's, it just groups all the, all the layers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drag the playhead at the very beginning. We're going to go down to distortion in the effects and go down until you find, we're going to add a wave underwater and scrape. So we're going to add wave first to so drag that there. And our playhead is still at the beginning of the last clip. And we're going to go into the, the uh, amount. And we're going to drag that all the way to zero and we're going to add a keyframe. Uh, leave that how it is. We just need the scrape. So we're going to drag that there as well. And now we have scrape there too. We're going to drag this little piece here to the right or you can drag it to the left. It doesn't really matter. You can go down or left here. This looks pretty cool just because you can you have this glowing effect with the lights here. So I'm going to do something like this or you can drag it upwards if you want it to zoom out. But anyways, I'm going to drag it down like this so we can decrease it a little bit. And then the center here in the x-axis, this is what's really going to make it look like he's going to disappear. So we're going to reset that for the center, but we're going to add a keyframe. Again, our playhead is at the beginning. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go, I'm going to add all the way to the end. So right where it turns orange, which is here, I'm going to drag this piece here. I'm going to, I'm dragging with the, uh, I'm using a MacBook, so I'm using the trackpad to just drag this all the way to the left. So we're just moving the point to the left until he's kind of gone and for the wave again same thing we want to increase this so if we kind of skim through it's going to look like this so if i go back and push play you have this super cool kind of disappearing effect and then it just disappears so if i play it from the from the top and i push play it's going to look like that kind of clean and once you're done with all of um, all the effects just highlight everything and group them and once you are done, you can add a color or a LUT. So we're going to add a LUT. So we're going to go into the, go to custom LUT and drag that there. And we can add a certain LUT if we really wanted to make this video pop. It looks really cool. It looks really neat. Um, you can get really creative with this, make it glow like crazy. It's all up to you. I mean, from this point, but, and again, you can change the tint on this if you don't like the way it looks. Personally, I don't. So I'm going to change the color to like a different color or maybe, um, and this is what it looks like with it color graded and without it. But anyways, that's the effects. And if you guys found this video helpful at all, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe, turn on the bell notification, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out.